Doors and windows closed and locked. Seatbelt fastened. Control. Free and correct. Brakes are good. Fuel valves on both. Circuit breakers are all in. Altimeter set 650. Arm hair is cold. Make sure it's full rich. I'm gonna prime. Throttles open a half an inch. Clear prop! Master's on. Beacon is on. Alright, here we go. Okay, so the oil pressure is coming up. Gonna turn the avionics on. Uh, oh, our transponder's on standby. Radio is 1228. Let's taxi for a quick run up here. We're just gonna do it into the wind over here. Just once we get away from the building. Seventeen hundred RPM. Gauges are still on the green. We're gonna do an electrical load check and we're holding. Alternators off and it's discharging. Alternators on and it's charging. Our suction gauge is in the green. We're gonna do a mixture check. We're good. We're gonna do left mag. Both. Right mag. Both. We're good. Carp heat's hot. Cold. And it's hot. Throttle down to idle. Car piece cold and 1000 RPM. Car was on mass on mag, on both gauges are in the green. I'm going to turn the landing light on. Car piece cold, make sure it's lean for taxi. Fuels on both and uh, trim is set for take on. Part of driving, big uniform Romeo, taxi, and the threshold is 06. Now I'm not actually sure. I'm going to check the windstock when I get over here. I might change my mind, but uh, I believe it's favoring 06 by the looks of that. Probably guessing up to 15 uh, crosswind across the runway, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun here. Well, nah, that's significant for that runway right now. Hey, screw it, we're gonna go back. Okay, change of plans. Driving Vic Uniform Romeo is uh, lining up 2 4. Okay, so we're going to put our transponder on Alpha Dune. Once we get lined up, we'll set our gyros. We'll do a bit of an instrument check here so our uh, coordinator's going right, coordinator's going left, and ball's going right. Heading indicators swing in appropriately. Got runway 24 on there. Our mixture is 4 inch. Time off's about uh, 20 to 1. I think I saw it yet. Let's get the lead 0 degrees of collapse to this takeoff. That should be good. Put on an area drive. Vicky Inform Romeo on the roll. Runway 24 put on for a local flight to the north. Correction Vicky Inform Romeo on the roll 24. We're going to be entering a circuit. Quite the crosswind here, so we gotta watch out for that. I climb out at about 75 here. Woo! We're not gonna try for Vicky to fall Romeo's clear the runway, entering a left hand down when runway 24 part on. Landing lights off. She's bumpy. Okay, so Parvis on, Mass on, Mags are on both, gauges are green, landing light is on, Carby is cold, make sure it's full rich, uh, fuel's on both. Oh boy, look at the gas, like the, uh, the drift here. I don't know if I'll be able to capture this on the head cam, but, um, yeah, we're flying sideways. That's pretty cool. We've got at least 30 degrees of drift, at least. And this is at a 
higher like cruise RPM setting for this downwind so Okay, a little steer to base turn now. We're not going to drive a bit uniform Romeo turning left base too far, but I'll get full stop. Make sure not to put down the flaps too early because if we do, we will have to add more power because we got quite the headwind on base. Okay, we're good for that 20 degrees now. Okay, so I'm going to do an approach at about 70, just because we're quite gusty right now. I don't want to deal with the uh, prospect of stalling, so that's what we'll do. We're not going to have a Victor Uniform Romeo turning final to 4 part and full stop this time. Or correction, Victor Uniform Romeo, we're uh, touch and go for 2 point. I just, I just like saying full stop. It just sounds cool. It sounds cool when you say full stop this time. I don't know if that picked up on the camera, but we, we went down to 65, and then I added like 100, 200 RPM, and then it jumped up to like 80, all in the course of like 3 seconds. And that is why I'm approaching at 70 right now. Okay, so now I'm going to take this crab that you see I've got, and I'm going to convert it to a slip. So the uh, right wing's going low, and a lot of left runner. Okay, power's back at idle. Ready for the flaps to come up. Okay. Oh boy. There we go. Woo! Okay, adding full power, car heat is cold. <laughs> well, I'm gonna climb out at 65 or 60 and uh, clear these trees. Well, that was an adventure. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, I think with that one, um, when you got a crosswind like that, I find if you put it down a little bit earlier than you necessarily have to, you end up with more luck in the end. You know, once you get the wheels on the ground, that's helping you deal with the crosswind, and I, I help that off a little bit too much, so we'll try that again. Let's just see. We're not going to drive a vacation from Romeo. It's clear the runway entering left down, one, two, four, Port Elgin. Sound traffic sets in 304 is a PC 12 inbound 15 from the center of the uh, There we go, there's your downwind height. Hey. More traffic, Gulf Alpha Kilo is 5 miles back, go for more traffic. So this time, uh, let's try 65 for the approach speed, that'll make our hold up not quite so long. We're not going to try the 15 volume Romeo, left base to 4 per dog and touch and go. And I did exactly what I said I shouldn't last time, and I put the flats down, and then I had to add power. So I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer for that. Port Dog and Traffic, Vic Uniform Romeo, turning final to Fort Port Dog and uh, touch and go. There it goes to 20 degrees. Don't turn it too early, you got a crosswind, what are you doing? <laughs> so for more traffic, I'll from the on the left base, 3 0 so for more traffic. So as I said, I'm gonna bring it down to 65 for this approach, because so we still got lots of margin before our stall. I'd like to work on that player, that player was terrible. <laughs> I'm gonna start this, uh, this uh, slip quite a bit earlier this time. Just get established a bit quicker. Oh, that's quite slow. Yeah, that'll be good. Let's just focus on the touchdown, even if we have to do a full stop. Go, go. There we go. Flaps up, Kirby's cold, full power. Okay, climb out at 65. Okay, here comes the slip. And the 
Doggy Skull, the full power. Oh boy, bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> okay, power's up, gear is green, and air speed is live, obviously. Okay. I'm down at 65. Morning, traffic, Vic Uniform Romeo is clear of the runway. Gonna be uh, departing the area for a local flight to the north. So every flight that I do, I like to, uh, at some point in the flight, do an emergency scenario. Often it's engine failure, sometimes it's something else, like, you know, some particular control or instrument or something isn't working. Let's just say we had an engine failure right here. If you look at Port Elgin, we have so much height that we could probably turn around, go halfway down the down and come back and still land, right? What I would probably do is uh, just orbit in place for a turn, maybe two, until we got down to our our downwind height, because right now we're still at the end of where our downwind would be, right? As with any dead stick landing, all you'd have to do is just make sure that, you know, you don't put the flaps down until you know for certain that you can make the field, and then, you know, since we have a lot of wind, that's obviously something you want to consider for today. Emergency of the day. We're going to practice some steep turns. Uh, let's do a, a quick uh, hazel check. Height is efficient. Uh, we're not over a built-up area right now, but I guess we can put some stuff away. Uh, we just did our engine check, and we're going to do a lookout, so we're going to just do some clearing turns here. So looking above, looking to the right, looking below, looking to the left, looking above, looking to the left, looking below, looking to the right. Ready to boogie. Coming up on our rollout, rolling out. Oh, we dropped 100 feet. Well, I don't think we went beyond 100 feet. I'll have to look back at the video if I still have the head cam. The battery hasn't died at this point, but uh, I don't think we went outside of 100 feet, but we still dropped. So we'll do one to the left. So let's go. There we go. Let's try one more. We'll do it to the right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, well, let's do an engine failure. That, we have an engine failure. So, we're gonna bring it up to 60. Okay, so I'm gonna be picking this road over here, because it's nice and long. And no other significant fields I can see in the area. Okay, so we're gonna have to be done with our simulation by 1,200 feet. In this case, I think I would uh, just fly along this way for a little bit. Now, there are obviously power lines, so you'd want to pick a point in between. So we're at 1,200 feet above the ground. So yeah, I would line up like this. Right, so we're at 1,000 feet. Oh yeah, we could make that. And I would, I think, I think I have my landing point, uh, would be in between those driveways, that's what I mean. Okay, 500 feet, overshoot. Lamps are coming up. So yeah, we would make that, that would be pretty cool. Well, not pretty cool, that would suck, but that would, uh, 
I would be able to make a safe landing, is what I meant to say. I'm assuming... I don't know, maybe I have a little bit too much faith in humanity, but I'm assuming if you're driving along the road and you see a plane coming to land, you would get the frick out of its way, but I don't know. Then again, guys have done it on like the QEW and stuff, and you know, there's lots of traffic on those roads and still managed to do it without a scratch, so... Draft of a uniform Romeo is overhead the field, simulated uh, engine failure overhead the field, landing 2-4. There goes power. So I'm going to immediately trim for 60 and turn uh, for my base turn. Alrighty, there we go. Trim for 60. Car speed is already hot. I'm going to do a pre-landing check. Prime stop, mass on, mags are on both gate. Gauges are green, landing light is on. Peels on both, and, uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to turn for our final turn position now. Keeping the flaps up. I'm not going to put the flaps down until I know that I'm going to make the field, because that's where you screw it up. You're like, oh, look, I'm so high, but then you put the flaps down, you're scared. Yeah, like right now, if I put the flaps down, I wouldn't make it. Although it looks like I'm very high. So I'm gonna be putting them down shortly, but I'm gonna wait until I'm established on final. You know, I can always slip it down. You can always, you always got the room to slip, but you don't have room to, you know, add power that isn't there. Portage Trap, Victor Uniform, Romeo, establish final 2 4 for Here we go. So that's a uh, dead stick approach for you. With crazy ground sign. And this will be a full stop. Oh boy. Lots of wind. Okay. Okay, but not the brakes. We're not going to trap at 15 of Paul Momeo down and clear 2-4, put away. 